Welcome to More Fun with Magnets. So building on one of the earlier videos that I did, I'm going to use the magnet on the bottom of my Pocket 3 and attach it to various places around the house and show you just how quick and easy it is to do quick videos with the Pocket 3. The big advantage of the Pocket 3 over, say, using a phone with a gimbal or something like that is just weight, stealthiness, and uh, easy use. It's one, it's one gizmo, you turn it on, uh, you connect your phone, and you pop it in place, organize the phone to where you're standing, which may be five feet away, and center it, and then hit the start button. So it's pretty darn easy. I like this option versus just about any other camera that I have for doing videos around the house, which could be a party, it could be guests, it could be a cooking video, or some kind of how-to video, or gee whiz video, or whatever it is I want to talk about that day. Anyway, here's, here's what I learned in the last day or two. A quick uh, set of pictures here that show you the mounting points. I used a one millimeter thick uh, stick-on magnet underneath some cabinet hammers. And then after I got to checking that out, it worked fine. Uh, I discovered that the, the already in place uh, under cabinet lights that have a metal housing work is a great spot for snapping a magnet to. Uh, the only downside to those is, is they're kind of back far on the back part of the cabinet. So it's a little bit different of an angle. I actually like that. The little sticky one towards the front of the cabinet so you get a, a better point of view. Anyway, here it is. Greetings! I'm way over here. So, I've got the Pocket 3 stuck upside down onto the wine rack counter. And let's see, I'm going to put myself in follow mode. There, so now it's going to follow me around the room. And Welcome to my kitchen. So now I'm going to move the pocket for you. I'm just going to do this in real time. Let me see if this works. Detach it from there. Take it with me. And I'm going to put it over here. It is. Okay, so it's still following me. And now I'm on a different angle in the kitchen here. And it's still following me. I'll go on the island here. And I'm going to move it again. So, again, it's underneath the cabinet. You can't see the magnet unless you look upside down underneath the cabinet. Now it's over here on the other side of the sink. And it's still following me. And I'm going to walk around the aisle again. And do some more stuff. This could be used for a vlog or just some party picks. Put it on time lapse. Just take party picks. Now I'm going to move it again and put it over here on the vent hood for the stove. So again, all I had to do was detach, detach it with a little bit of force. And I've got uh, one, two, three, four places that I can just pop it in place in real time and do a multi-angle view and record wherever I want. I'll probably do a few videos using this, but what I really like is I can put it on time lapse and use it for parties and stuff. And uh, I can see this being very useful. And I just need to put, uh, I need to put a few more magnets in place. So I can put it in a few more spots, but as it is, this gets pretty much coverage of the whole room. I gotta figure out how to do it in the living room. And I will attach a link to these little cheap, cheap, cheap magnets with a 3M sticky back to it. They're, they're probably a millimeter thick. And it's about a one by one and a half inch square. 
Okay, well, I take a little bit of that back. I found another spot, actually another four or five spots to, uh, to, to mount the camera. I've now got it mounted just to the right of the stove on the right side of my counter. And the magnet is stuck to the little under cabinet light. It's got a little metal housing on it. So I got it there and now I can move it. Take it off there. And I can put it over here and it'll follow me around. That's actually a pretty good spot for, uh, for cooking. There. So that might not be a bad spot for some cooking videos. And uh, let's see here. Yeah. Do a little fine tuning. And move this down. Yeah, that's all. That's as low as I can get. So I've got this articulated arm, but look at that. It's got the uh, it's got the uh, pot filler in there. Uh, for some reason, it goes up. See if it goes down. There we go. Okay, now I got it. So now, if I'm cooking right here. Cooking something I can do a vlog there. And is it following me anymore? No, probably not. Okay, do another select. Following me again. And hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I can put it over here. There you go. And uh, it lost me. There, now it's got me on track again. And a little hops in the way, but anyway, you can see the point. I got tons of spots I can put a put a mount here. And all it costs was a little five dollar magnet, which I'll also include a link to. Anyway, that's my video, fun with magnets. If you got a kitchen with under counter lights, all you need is one magnet on the bottom of the pocket three, and you're ready to go. Make all kind of cool stuff. I think the everyday use for this thing is when you have a social gathering, just stick it wherever you want to put it, where it gets the best view of the room, and put it on time lapse. That way you get all the stills and you never have to touch the camera. Uh, and I've got tons of extra long batteries I can put on here. So uh, you will be able to do a three hour party, no problem. I could see this being useful for Thanksgiving and Christmas and anyway, that type of stuff. Or it could be a nanny cam, I guess if you left it down there, uh, although they'd probably notice it. Anyway, cheers.